Hey, what's up, Lightbulb Joe here. Today we're going to discuss the 2024 Netflix original film, Unfrosted. This is written and directed and co-starring Jerry Seinfeld. Melissa McCarthy is in this. A bunch of other people, bunch of people are in this. Um, I'm just, I'm amazed at how many people are actually in this project. Hour and 36 minutes long, as all 90 minute films should be. But this is a extreme satire farce retelling of the origin of the Pop-Tart in 1963 Michigan a battle between Kellogg's and Post who would have the fruit-based pastry on the shelf and who would do better etc but this is a this is a retelling version of Jerry's character of Bob to this random kid at a diner who's eating a Pop-Tart at the diner and he's like, oh, you want to know the true story of Pop-Tarts? And then, like, he tells the story. But, like, it's so far-fetched where there's eventually a hybrid ravioli sea monkey made that escapes the fish tank. And I, it's just, it was strange. And I think because it was so far-fetched and strange, it lost the magic it could have had in regards to the origin of a Pop-Tart. I think, um, I think Flamin' Hot did a great job in regards to an origin of a food product on a shelf kind of a thing. Um, of course, some elements were fictitious, but that wasn't satire. I thought Flamin' Hot, I thought Eva Longori did a great job with that project. This, it was so far-fetched, it wasn't believable. And it's unfortunate because it could have been great in regards to an origin story for a product. A lot of it was just pure improv because a lot of the comedic talent that was there, the comedic improv was great. But when you have real life, or excuse me, when you have people playing real life people, it's just weird watching a satirical version of them in regards to the origins and creations of a Pop-Tart. It, it's like the Pop-Tart was one of the reasons why the Cuban Missile Crisis happened, but it's not. So it's, I don't know, it, it, it kind of annoyed me from a historical point. And I get it that it was a satirical retelling for a kid, but why make it that way? Just make it, this is how the Pop-Tart was created. I personally would not have done this particular choice. This particular style and choice of how the project was brought about is why it did not do well within critics and audience. I think it has like a five something on IMDb right now out of 10. Got like a 44 on Rotten Tomatoes or something like that. I, I completely understand. Um, there's a time and a place for satire but for some reason, it just does not work in regards to the creation of a breakfast product. I don't know. I don't know how else to explain it. Unfrosted, the Pop-Tart original, original, original satire production. There we go. On to the next review. Shmahalo.